Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a little something that is uh, Return of Rome, which is a, a DLC coming out for Age of Empires 2 actually tomorrow or today or yesterday, depending on when you watch this video. But <clears throat> what does it bring to the game? Just very short, because this video has a different focus. But here I'm in Age of Empires 2D. Then I click here, Return of Rome. Now I can play Return of Rome. What is Return of Rome? Well, it is basically having the Age of Empires 1 saves ported over to the Age of Empires 2 engine. We got some new options like being able to use gates, uh, trade cards and such things. And of course, team bonuses, which are not a thing in everyone before, I think. And another thing, which is the focus of this video, is the Laquiet, which is a yeah, a new civilization, which I think is a beautiful homage to the Vietnamese community of Age of Empires, because they, well, especially for Age of Empires 1, uh, have had a lot of loyal players for many, many years, or well, they still do, but uh, more so than other regions of the world. So they basically got their own Civ in the game now as well. What do they do? They have 20% faster work at forages. Uh, military units getting produced 25% faster. Archery range units having plus two armor, so this means melee armor. And the team bonuses, houses, and farms get built 50% faster. So nice and decent early game bonuses, but also scaling to the late game should be decent. I'm just going to play a test round here. Hard AI difficulty. I'm not very good at Age of Empires 1. I don't really know any build orders or something. But we'll see. Maybe it works, maybe it won't. But um, that's okay either way. Just for demonstration purpose anyways, we're playing against the Egyptians here. Okay, so let's start off. Build two houses here. We got some forage bushes inside already, so we should try to use that bonus as good as we can. Oh, look at that even animated fire. Lovely. Um, we want to get a granary. This is very nice placement. Uh, you are done. Do I want to scout just yet? I think I don't have something I want to find at this point. So nothing I need to explore. Um, yeah, <laughs> just get some food income for now. I will need another house soon and for that I will need more wood as well. Maybe we can send one villager over there. Then the next food source will be the gazelles here and probably some elephants somewhere on the map. I think on Highland there's always a group of elephants in the middle somewhere. But that's something we'll find out once we did some scouts and we can put on the first additional house. Wait. Okay, so while I don't really know any build orders, I will try to <laughs> see if I can use my archer bonus because I can train them fast. I have extra melee armor on them, so that should be... I mean, two extra armor in the unit that I think has zero armor to start with. Sounds very powerful. Then again, against arch other archer units, it will not really have any benefit at all. I think I'm getting a little bit too much wood here. Let's send you over there. Another house. Or you should maybe wall at the front. I'll just get another one here for now. I just want to make this place somewhat defendable. So that's the plan for now. Probably should see. I think for now I should really stay with the gazelles and not see where the elephants are. I should still spot them. Okay, just some more scouts. In. Okay. Since I need to put down a, um, what they call it, storage pit here anyways, there's a wood line, lovely. We can use this as a multi-purpose drop of buildings, a uh, building for both resources. Of course the trees here close to the town center are about to run out anyway, so we might do th two things with one thing. Yes, <laughs> two birds, one stone, whatever. Okay. 
Probably let's do 21 pop into Fuel Age, into, sorry, Tool, tool Age, that is. Yeah, we are in Stone Age, we will advance to the Tool Age. Um, that's the plan here, anyways. Mm, probably can build a barracks as well. We'll need that regardless later on. As I said, archers alone, when they fight against... Um, I think Slingers are the counter to archers. My slingers, do they still cost stone or am I just, yeah, they cost 10 stone. It's so weird to see a military unit or a unit at all costing stone in Age of Empires game, but that is, there's an elephant here. I think there's, there must be more somewhere. Barracks are almost done. There's more forage bushes in the middle. That's actually quite nice for us. Can definitely take advantage of that as long as we have control over the map that is. Let's get another house. Yeah, you will probably also build another house. There's my elephant. So, probably another storage pit over there. Like here. Um. I might need some more lumberjacks, actually. And we're almost in... We are on Tool Age. Okay, we we'll keep the villager production going. That's looking nice and dandy. Okay, it's 150, so another one right away. We can improve to the battle axe, the clubman. Because we don't want to run with outdated military tech here. And we can try some bowmen. They only cost food and wood here in this case. So we are doing pretty good. I think I want to take another group. Take on the elephant. But how does we lure them, right? Oh yeah, they are quite blind in this game. That's actually quite a nice lore. And a house! Surprise! A house given four, a house given five population is something different. <laughs> something very different indeed. Okay, now we actually got an advantage. Um, oh, look at that. Straight walking in there, we need him. Our enemy is still in the first age, so. There's no slingers in age one, right? Like in the first age of age one. Uh, Stone Age, that's called. So we'll for, wait for one more X-Men. I produce those units so quickly that I actually... Um, can either collect the resources or build the houses to keep up, but that's okay. I mean, that's actually good, I guess. So here... So I'm probably should have taken gold, it seems. That's interesting. Another house. Okay, what do you do? I think I need a... Cannot build farms. I need a market for that. In the market, I would also be able to get upgrades for my economy. Get all of the military upgrades here. Okay, there's the market. Well, there's some slingers, so they probably already awaited our attack here. I actually don't need to fight the slingers. Can just pick up some villagers here and there. Not a great deal. I probably should take this fight on the hill. Archers are so much more accurate in this game than. Uh, an 8 of a best 2. That's a really good fight. Okay, so what do we do next? We need some gold, probably. We need the market ace, of course. Okay, 
Probably some stone as well. Okay, this is not looking too bad. Market is done. What? 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 Oh, there's another slinger. Okay, build that. Oh yeah, farms are more expensive in this game. Okay, time to return to the wood line. Get some more warriors as well. Oh, Wait, do they just spawn here? Or do do they walk towards storage pits? Is that a thing? Because this is getting quite suspicious. Quite a few slingers. Let's maybe gather the forces here. Okay, we got the. There we go. The market. So we want to get the woodworking upgrade next. Because this will allow us to get more range on our units. Because then we'll outrange the slingers as well, and we'll outranging and and we use is quite a useful thing. I just want to maybe pick out a f pick off a few more villagers. Wait, why didn't you? Oh, they were, became gold miners. Okay, let's retreat now. Okay, we need that gold to edge up. Um, get the upgrades here so we can actually build some defenses. Might as well use the fact that there's gates in this game. I need another barracks. We can just let them run across the map for a little bit longer. Another gate here. Let's build a tower. Uh oh oh. That fight actually works out. Uh oh. The problem is <laughs> that the slingers also have a bonus against buildings, which makes them quite a menace in the early game, actually. Okay, I think we'll win this fight here. But just having enough towers should also be a great help already. Okay, more farms. Did we get the echo grace? No, we probably want to get domestication first. I've quite a lot of gold. We can use that to actually buy our. Almost, almost there. Because once we got the better towers, the improved towers, uh, sentry towers, what they're called, we should have a lot less trouble with this. Oh, uh, the slingers, at least. I know they're fielding some bowmen as well here. An attempt to counter my um, my swordsman, X-Men, whatever. I 
actually move that to bring create another tower here. Okay, that keeps us safe for the time being. Point advance to the next age already, which is a little bit troublesome. You might actually want to Oh get some stables. Should complement our army quite nicely. Okay, now we want to get the improved bow. It will cost some gold to get those. Um, I definitely want to get the range upgrades and the wheel. So it of course makes sense that the wheel does um, many great things for you because without the wheels you can't get chariots and you will just also move faster as well. So it's quite quite useful indeed. I should set this to automatic reseeding. We get the this one as well. Let's finish this, please. Okay, they've got the first chariots already. Our composite bow, we can get that as well. It already costs a lot of gold, but I think we can afford this. Okay. I feel like the economy is way too small at this point. We've gotten too many upgrades at the same time. Um, this is the... We need more villagers first. We should get the elephant now. Ah, uh, we can get the chain. What is it? Scale? Scale armor? The opponent has been very silent for quite a while and I'm not sure if I like that all that much. Plus 200, okay, let's get that as well. Yeah, hopefully the cavalry switch will... Um, well, give us the results we want. Oh, the house is not looking nice in there. Second, third, third age, the bronze age we actually we are in now. Okay, we also could get a government center. We need the government center where we can add additional town centers. And I think at the government center we can also upgrade our cavalry. Oh, we add a few composite bows only to benefit from the nice armor we got there. There it is. Uh, nobility plus 15 percent hit points for all horse and camel units. Uh, building hit points, build time, okay. Barracks units take up population. We're gonna get the nobility first. We can also, oh no, the horse archers actually are only in H4. I think we also get access to the heavy horse archer, so that is quite something. What are you doing there? And why are you not? Okay, opponent is getting quite spooky in terms of score. I think I should see if I can do something about that. We get another tower here as well. Iron Age. Okay, so I need to attack now, definitely. Okay, another town center back here. Okay, 
because the Iron Age gives my opponent a lot of very, very strong things, strong choice. Get the... Uh, I, I didn't get the wheel. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're taking down a lot of economy here. That's good. Get two over here. Actually, I want to train some bowmen and some X-Men because they are just dirt cheap. And there's some monks somewhere. It's actually not looking too bad. There's the monk. Okay. Get more cavalry. At this point we can just take advantage of our ability to just spam units. If we had <laughs> enough population, that is. Okay, in theory, I now could use my upper hand to actually go to the uh, to the fourth age and um, get some of our super special f fancy units. But I've done that too many times to the Iron Age of Vampires One. <laughs> I, mean, I think I got them. And then all of a sudden, let's get the board sword as well. Look, they're, they're very, very resilient. So we should not uh, let the momentum we got here. Fade away. Yeah, at this point I'm really just spamming any unit I can get my hands on. Um, because we got the upper hand. The fact that town centers didn't actually shoot here, they can garrison units, but they can't shoot at you. Makes it a lot easier to uh, well really keep the pressure on. And deal some real damage to the enemy opponent uh, economy. We should get some siege as well, though. Um, where do we get it? Siege workshop. And we can also get the academy. Oh, but wait, nah, you're missing quite a few of the infantry upgrades. But academies are fun. Let's put one of as well here. Yeah, the classical aggressive uh, siege workshop. I love that. And there's the GG actually already. Okay, now look at that. <laughs> I actually sent some defeat messages now. I think that is also new here. Um, which is nice. Yeah, so, um, like we had very strong military production, having the extra melee armor for archers definitely helps. My opponent didn't even try to use any melee units, I think, the whole game. <laughs> um, Cavalry is still very, very powerful in this game. But, yeah, this is the first look into the DLC. It will be probably out when the, the time you look at it, so um, you can check it out if you want. Just, uh, apart from the things which I showed you here, they also introduced the Roman civilization to Age of Empires 2. So you can actually have a new, new AOE 2 content as well. There is three campaigns for um, Age of Empires 2. 2DE Rome Return of Rome There we go And actually full editor support Which I'm super excited about Because now I can use The AOE2 editor To use uh, AOE1 assets And make scenarios for that So that is Definitely something I'll be Taking a look at In the future Anyways I wish you had A Entertaining watch here And uh, Have gotten some insights Into this lovely DLC until next time, have a good one. Uh, this has been Alkalim. I want to thank you for watching and out. Bye-bye.